Hello and welcome. Uh, I got more and more questions uh, about communication of uh, uh, DWM and CWM over a single strength of single fiber instead of a dual. Uh, this is getting more and more popular and that's why I, in this movie and presentation I wanted to explain you uh, which different types of techniques there are available currently on the market for this. Traditional communication is of course with uh, a MUX and a DMUX. So one side sends and the other side receives. So that's also the reason why you have two sides on, a, on an optic. But you can do this over one fi single fiber as well. And this is used a lot for uh, fiber to the home where you have only one fiber available or to cut cost. Uh, there are advantages and disadvantages of the different techniques. I got the three techniques that are currently available and easy to deploy here listed. Uh, the first one is uh, making a cross connect. Uh, the cross connect is based on the fact that the receiver side of an optic is not specific for light. Uh, you can see that here. Uh, the, for example, the 1610, uh, the purple line sends light out. It will go over the mux here into the mux here and uh, the light comes out. So the 1610 light comes out and will come into the 1590 optic and the 1590 optic will send out with the yellow light and that will come out here. Um, that will build a link because the receiver side is not specific for a certain color. It will detect all the colors there is and uh, so it doesn't matter if 1610 is connected to 1590 or 1550 or whatever. And that's uh, how you can build uh, a cross link connection between it. Uh, I made a big red um, line here uh, because, of course, these muxes, our standard muxes come with mux and demux. Uh, the components inside can do communication two ways. Uh, it doesn't matter. And we have custom muxes uh, if you want to do just, uh, yeah, uh, if you want to work on a single fiber. Uh, the second technique is CDD with APC. Uh, this is uh, an optic uh, which only has one uh, connector, not two connectors like on this picture. And it's based on um, the fact that the light from the other side is stronger than the light it's emitting. The disadvantage, and I'll get to that later, you always have to use U uh, APC patches, so the green patches. The third technique here, and that's a new technique, and that is based on the fact that the CWM window is 50 nanometers wide and in those 50 nanometers you can place two waves. One will go one way and one will go the other way. Like the 1610, you will send one color light one way, like the 1613 one way and the 1607 it will go the other way. So in one CWM window, because it's so wide, you can place two waves that go in either direction. I'll explain a bit what the advantages and the disadvantages are uh, for this technique, the cross-connect technique. The advantage is uh, you can use standard optics, so the regular CWM and DWM 1 gig and 10 gig. So the, it's a, a, attractive pricing. The advantage is you can do 10 gig nowadays already with it. Uh, longer distances also because it's using uh, the standard technique and our 1 gig optics can go to 41 dB. You can use this with CWM and DWM, of course. Uh, the max you can do is 200 gig of one fiber if you take our 40 port max. There are different uh, disadvantages as well. Uh, it's more complex patching. You have to know on what which side is what uh, to, to make the link. And you're losing a half of the max for communication. So one gig connection you, uh, takes two channels away. So if you have an eight port max, you can do four times one gig on that. That's a disadvantage of that technique. The second technique, um, the uh, APC, uh, the CWM BDs with APC, you can find that on our website. I made a movie on that. If you just go to products, uh, uh, WDM solutions, then CWM BD, and then you will have all the products and you can click on the YouTube uh, movie I made that explains the technique. The advantage is you have the same optics on both sides. So uh, that's, um, that's easier for uh, maintainability. And you use the full mux, so every 
channel you have, you can put one gig in it. The disadvantage is, is uh, you have to use APC connectors. That has to do with the fact that uh, this technique is a bit allergic to reflection. Um, normal uh, UPC connectors have flat connectors here and that causes reflection and then the optic gets its own signal back which is disturbing the signal which is coming from the other side. That's a disadvantage. Uh, the 14 dB power budget could be a disadvantage. No tech gig at this moment and the pricing is about two and a half times of the regular CWM1 gig. The third technique, and that's a, a relatively new technique, uh, we will launch that in quarter two of uh, 2014. Uh, that's based on the CWM BD, the U and the D, uh, where you place the TX and the RX on two channels inside of one CWM channel, which is 15 nanometers wide. Uh, the advantage is uh, it's clear patching, so you got a 1610U and a 1610D, one you place on one side, one on the other side. 10 gig will come in the future. Uh, we're expecting that in quarter four of 2014. Uh, you can use the full mux, so every channel can be a one gig or in the future 10 gig. Uh, the disadvantage is um, the price at this moment is still a bit higher, uh, uh, around three times the price of a regular CWM one gig. And at this moment, it's 17 dB uh, max for uh, this technique. And the rollout is uh, still going. This technique can, of course, also be deployed with ORDMs. And this is what we've seen uh, throughout Europe a lot with the build of 4G networks and fiber to the home. Uh, that people are using this with ORDM. So you got one MUX here. Um, this is an example with cross connects, of course. Uh, the channel 30 is sending out here and with uh, 31 you're making a cross connect back to this one and being an OEDM all the light passes through here and the 33 is taken out here and you can make a whole uh, yeah let's say a train full of these uh, OEDMs. Okay thank you very much for your time.